Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's class. My name is Dr. Joshua Aura. Today, I'll be taking you through what we call business mathematics. And I would want us to look at this question that was tested in November 2015, question number 5B, which will help us to go through measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency. Specifically, this question gave us a distribution and then they wanted us to calculate the mean, median, and mode. Mean, median, and mode. So we want to start with the mean. How do we get mean of this kind of a distribution? How do we get X bar? Ladies and gentlemen, the mean is X bar. So mean is X bar. And to get X bar in a frequency distribution, in a frequency, this has to be frequency. In a frequency distribution like this, to get the mean, we normally take summation of frequencies times x divided by sum of what year frequency is. So frequencies times x divided by summation of frequencies. So then what we need to do is to come and create a column here where we shall capture x. X in this particular case will come from these ranges, but specifically now x will be x will be the midpoint. Midpoint. So come and give us the midpoint. So how do we get the midpoint? It's very easy. You will take 500 plus 550 equals divided by 2. You add these two numbers and then you divide by 2 to get the middle values. So in short here, we have 525. So we have 550 plus 600 equals divided by 2, giving me 575. Then we have 600 plus uh, 650 divided by 2, giving me 625. 625, so this has to be 675. Then we have 675, so 675 plus 50, giving me 725 plus 50, 775. So the next one will be 825. And then we have lastly 875. Now, as per the formula of the mean, they want me to create a column of fx. So come and create a column of fx there. fx, and then of course, summation will come in later. Here yeah, there's a multiplication, but it means that first of all, we multiply. So fx, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have? Remember, this number of bulbs will be our frequency. So we have the f here times 25, so 27 times 525 which gives me a big figure, 14,175, 50 times 575, 50 times 575, which gives us 28,750. Then we have 85 times 625, which gives us 53, 53, 125. Then we have 99 times 675, which gives us 66. 825, then we have 94 times 725, which gives us 68. 150, then we have 74 times 775, which gives us 57. 350, 350, 47 times 825, 47 times 825, which gives us 38, 775. And then we have 24 times 875, which gives us 21,000. Please remember our formula for x bar. We say x bar, which is the mean, is summations of fx divided by summations of f. So come and add, give us the column of fx, so plus 38, 775, plus 57, 350, plus 68, 150, plus 66, 825, plus 53, 125, plus 28, 750, plus 14, 175 equals, which will end up giving us 348, 150. And then I can see the denominator, we need summations of what your frequency is. Come and add these frequencies here for part A. So we have here 27 plus 50 plus 85 plus 99 plus 94 plus 
74 plus 47 plus 24 equals, which gives us 500, 500, which will give us what mean figure. So the mean here will be 348, 348, 150 divided by 500. So we have here 348, 150 divided by answer 500, which gives me a mean score of 696. So the mean here is 696.3. I've been able to get all those marks. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been able to use this particular question to demonstrate how the mean will be computed. So I expect you to calculate the mean of B for us later. So allow me to continue with the same question and then tackle the median. The median, the median. So I want to give you the median here, ladies and gentlemen. So how do we get the median? Remember by definition, median is that statistical value that subdivides a distribution into two equal parts, subdivides a distribution into two equal parts. So for you to be able to get the median, my friend, you must recall this formula. That median, median, ladies and gentlemen, equals the lower class boundary, the lower class boundary, lower class boundary, in this case here plus, we have n divided by two, minus CFA, minus CFA, minus CFA, multiplied by the class size, multiplied by the class size, or the class interval, multiplied by the class size, or the class interval, divide this by the frequency of the median class, the frequency of the median class. So I'm repeating again that this median will be equal to the lower boundary, lower boundary, which is an independent thing, plus, into brackets here we have N over two, minus CFA is cumulative frequency of the class above. CFA stands for the cumulative frequency of the class above into, we have here the class size, the class size all over frequency of the median class, all over frequency of the median class. So you're saying that this N represents the total what here? Frequency. The total frequency that you guys gave me 500. And therefore, the position, the position here will be N over two, which will be 500 divided by two. So 500 divided by two gives me 250. 250, 250. Now ladies and gentlemen, this is the positional term, N over two. The positional term, which is N over two. So the next thing will be for me to locate, locate the 250 and accumulative frequency. Locate the 250 and the figure that you found here, locate it and accumulative frequency. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, that you must come and create a column of cumulative frequency. Create a column here of cumulative frequency. So we have here CF. CF means cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency, what do we have here? Cumulative frequency, ladies and gentlemen. So for cumulative frequency, I have the first one will be 27. 27, so keep on adding. So 27 plus 50, 27 plus 50, that gives us 77. 77 plus 85, that gives us 162. Class 99, that gives us 261. Class 94, which gives us 355. Class 74, which gives us 429. Class 47, which gives us 476. Class 24, which will give us 500. So what am I after? I'm after locating the 250 figure. The 250 and the cumulative frequency, of course I can't see it here. When you can't see 250, always go for the first figure to exit it. Go for the first cumulative frequency figure to exit it, which is 200 what year? 61, which is 261. So I have my 250 well within here. So it means, ladies and gentlemen, that this is my median class. So my median class is the class which runs from, so the median class, the median class, 
is the class which runs from 650 to 700 like that. 650 to 700 like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if that is the case, then listen and listen to me very well. Once I've gotten the median class, what I need to do straight away is to mark the boundaries. Give us the upper boundary. The upper boundary. If my cameraman can see me all the way up to here, the upper boundary for this class is here. The only thing that I need to do is to ensure continuity. Continuity, so come and take this. Always use, always use what we call the secondary diagonal. So how do I get the upper boundary? You will normally take the figure that is here plus the figure that is here you average. So the upper boundary will be 700 plus 700. Whatever we get, we divide by two, which will still give you 700 like that. Fortunately, the two figures were the same. In most cases, they will not be the same. So come and give us the lower boundary. The lower boundary will come out of this 650. The lower boundary of this class is out of this, will be obtained out of this. So what you need to do is to project that particular diagonal. The pro uh, project that particular diagonal. So lower boundary will be 650 plus 650. Whatever we have here, we divide by two, which gives us 600 what here? 50. So it will be very important for us, ladies and gentlemen, to get our boundaries, the upper boundary and the lower boundary, the upper boundary and the lower boundary, which have been able to get a 650, lower boundary, 750, upper boundary. Very good. Once we get that, ladies and gentlemen, come and give us C. C stands for class size. And the class size will be upper boundary minus lower boundary. Upper boundary, we say it is 700. Minus lower boundary, which is 650, which will be 50. So I've taken care of the class size. So if that is the case, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of having this figure well built in our memories, we want to repeat the formula of median. Ladies and gentlemen, for us to get the median, what have we said about the median? We normally start with the lower class boundary. Class, we go to the positional term, which is n over 2, minus the cumulative frequency of the class above. Cumulative frequency of the class above the median into the class size, and then this term alone divided by the frequency of the, please write in your notes there that this fm stands for frequency of the median class. Frequency of the median class. Now that we have got all these terms, let's come and evaluate at the L. So L, we start with, we have the median. L is the lower boundary of this class, which you guys have given me a figure of 650. Plus n over 2, I already have n over 2 is 250 minus the cumulative frequency above our median class. This is our median class. So the cumulative frequency of the class which is above, the class which is above us is 162. The cumulative frequency of the class which is above us is 162 multiplied by the class size that you are able to compute up there, which was 50. Divide this by the frequency, ladies and gentlemen, of the median class, which I said you write down. Frequency is this one. Frequency of the median class is 99. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, that our median will be equal to, I'll start by evaluating what we have in brackets here as per volumes. So we have 250 minus 162 equals times 50 divided by 99 equals plus, after I get all that, I'll come and say plus 650, which gives me 694.4. 694.44, like that. 694.44 is the median. 694.44 is the median. So I hope that is clear. And I know those of you who are very good in these things, now we'll be able to compute the median of series B, the median of bulk type B. If you allow me, I'll go to the more, the last one. So they want us to give them the model value, the model value. By definition, remember that more is that statistical value that has the highest frequency, which occurs most often, which occurs most often. So then what I need to do very fast is to come and write the formula for us, the formula of getting the mode 
So how do we get the more than German here? To get the more. Listen and listen to me very well. We'll take the L, the lower class boundary as usual. Plus, plus, we have here delta 1C, all over delta 1 plus delta 2. So we have mode equals L plus delta 1C, all over delta 1 plus delta 2. C is the class size as usual. C is the class size. Listen and listen to me very well. The very first thing that you're supposed to do for you to be able to get a mode of a particular series is for you to come on course, have your frequencies, which are there. And then as per the definition, always start by identifying that particular class which happens to be corresponding to the highest frequency because of the model definition, model value definition. Mode is that statistical value which happens to be occurring often than others. The one that has got the highest frequency. So the highest frequency as a German without wasting your time is this one. This is the highest frequency. And once you have the highest frequency, always designate it as F0. And then the class above, give it a, a term there, frequency of the class above. And then we have the frequency of the class below, give it F2, give it F2. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment, the moment I have this as my highest frequency, then this automatically becomes the model class. It becomes the model class. It becomes the model class. And once I have my model class, the first thing I will do is to define its boundaries. Fortunately for this question, we were able to define the upper boundary. For this question, we have the same class again being our model class, whose upper boundary is 700, lower boundary is 650. Lower boundary L is 650. And therefore, the class size is 50, 50, 50. So what I need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to get the deltas. Give us delta 1. Delta means change. Change is different. So delta 1 will be F0 minus F1. F0, F0 is 99 minus 85, minus 85, 99 minus 85. So we have here 99, 99 minus 85, giving us 14. That is delta one. And then we have delta two, 22 is FO minus F2. So FO happens to be 99, 99 minus delta, or the minus F2, which is 94. 94, so then this at the end of the day will give us 5. 99 minus 94 gives us 5 like that. Now come and plug in the figures. You plug them in the formula. So we have our mode being equal to the lower boundary. The lower boundary, you gave me a figure of 650. The lower boundary, you gave me a figure of 650 plus delta 1. Delta 1, which is 40. 40 times the class size. Class size, ladies and gentlemen, you gave me a figure of 50 all over delta 1 again, which is 14, 14 plus delta 2, which is 5. So ladies and gentlemen, this is quite an easy one. I need to take care of the multiplication there. So we have 14, 14 times 50, 14 times 50 equals, divided by 14 plus 5, that gives us 19. Divided by 19 equals plus 650, which will end up giving us 686. So the mode is 686.84 like that. And that is the final answer to this particular question. So I expect you to go and calculate the mean, median mode of series B, of series B. So please support us by paying for our block list as per the request that we made yesterday. Thank you very much.